Halloween is the perfect opportunity to exploit the uncanny valley reaction within us. We like to be scared to feel squeamish during the season. We'll be making a mask, a decoration if you will, that will feature multicolored eyes, a distance detector, a voice module, and will all be controlled with an Arduino microcontroller. This is the Arduino. It's named after an Italian hole-in-the-wall pub where the creators used to meet, the Bar di Re Arduino, and the pub itself was named after a short-lived Italian king, King Arduino di Ivrea, from the year 1002. So, in a way, we can say Arduino was inspired in part by a long-lost king from a thousand years ago. This little device comes in many sizes with many different add-ons. And the version we'll focus on is the popular Arduino Uno R3. This board uses the Atmega 328P, runs at 16 megahertz with 32 kilobytes of memory, and has 14 digital pins and 6 analog pins for input and output. To detect distance, we're using an infrared distance detector. It's pretty simple in design, actually. The clear LED gives off infrared light, invisible to the human eye, and the dark LED is actually a detector that has a filter on it so it can only see infrared light. The detector is internally wired backwards from a normal LED and works much like a solar panel would, passing electricity through when light hits the semiconductor. And where some are cheating, I mean, utilizing resources effectively, uh, with the uh, voice module. The Arduino only has about 32 kilobytes of storage and thus can only store about uh, two seconds of audio. So our voice module we're using can record 10 seconds and takes the complex aspects of recording and playing sound out of our hands. So let's make something already. Start by plugging the LED into some female to male wires. Take special note of the long lead on the LED. These RGB LEDs use a common anode so that long pin in there has to actually go to the positive wire. Next, we insert the LEDs into a ping pong ball. You'll see why later. Now, take an Arduino and we're using a prototype shield on top of it. Just put it right on top. Make sure to line up the pins. Now we plug the 5 volt connection on the Arduino onto the breadboard. Then we add some resistors bent across the middle of the breadboard. Now we plug in our LED. As mentioned before, that long pin has to line up with the positive pin on the board. The negative pins on the LED connect in line with the resistors. Now we connect our detector. Simply plug the positive to the line with the positive power. Then connect the ground pin on the detector to the ground on Arduino. And the sensor output pin is going to pin 12. Our voice module will be controlled using digital pin 0. Simply plug a wire into that and we're going to alligator clip that wire over to our voice module. Then we're going to take another alligator clip, connect it to a resistor, and plug that into ground on the Arduino. Connect the other sides of these alligator clips to the metal pins on the button for the voice module. That way we can act as the button using a digital response from the Arduino. And finally, we connect the digital pins for the LEDs to the resistors on the board. We wait for this step till the end just so we can have less clutter as we're working. Now we shove all of it straight into the back of the mask, tape it on down, and stick the detector out the mouth. Make sure you get those eyes lined up just right inside the back of the mask. Now don't forget to program it. Ah, here's where it gets fun. Here's the program. It could take some time to explain everything that's going on here, so I'll just save it for a later video. You can also read up about it on the Sagebrush 4-H Robotics blog. Thanks for watching, and have a happy Halloween.